Are you ready to break free from your fears and your insecurities to live a life full of abundance and prosperity? Well, it all begins on what you think about. And today I'm going to share with you some useful tips that I got from the book, The Vortex, which you can put into practice straight away that can make a huge difference in your life immediately. So stick around as we go through some of the tips and tricks today. Hey, amazing mums, thanks for joining me. I'm Em and I bring you tips and tricks on how you can share some positive thoughts and focus on things that really matter to enjoy a fulfilling life. Now, this is especially important as a busy working mum. It can be extremely challenging. There's a lot going on. Everyone's competing for our attention. So what is it that you can do to look after yourself? To stay connected, stay focused. And that's what this channel is all about. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Em and I am a mum of two, a working mum that's busy, constantly on the go, but also has an inner passion for things that really matter to me and wants to make time to make sure that I look after myself so that I can be a better mum and also a better person and positively impact all of the people that are in my life. Now, today we're going to be talking about the importance of the teachings in a book that has completely transformed my perspective on life, myself, relationships, and future goals. And what I really want to share with you is what I got from this particular book. So join me as I share with you some of the teachings that are spoken about in the book and hopefully this will be of value for you too. I've gone through a massive change in my transformation in the sense of my perspective. Before I was ruled by insecurities, I had a really poor self-esteem and I really struggled to step outside of my comfort zone. Over the years, I've spent a lot of time in attending seminars and training programs and doing some personal development and reading lots of books on how I can overcome my personal challenges to be at my best. And what I've come to realize is that as long as I'm being self-focused and always concentrating on me, I'm taking away from what I really can be and give to other people. So it's almost like shifting that perspective away from myself and focusing on others. And as a result, I enjoy a more fulfilled life. I'm a better person for it, but I also positively impact others. So today I'm going to be sharing with you some tips and tricks which made a significant impact in my life and a huge difference from shifting my perspective to one that is more towards being positive. And I hope that you find value in it too. If you haven't already read the book, check out my affiliate link below to get your own copy. It's called The Vortex by Abraham Hicks. And as an Amazon affiliate, I do earn a small commission from any qualified purchases. Now, if you are like me, you may associate spirituality with religion. And I remember in my younger years being very afraid and I would shy away from religion. I have come across individuals that were quite fanatic and made me feel really uncomfortable and as a result it was just something that didn't make sense to me and I feared what I didn't understand. But what I've come to learn over the years after reading a lot, learning a lot and having a lot of conversations with people that are more knowledgeable in the area, I've come to learn that spirituality and religion aren't necessarily the same thing. They can be intertwined but they're not exactly the same thing. And as a result, I've been much more receptive to the concept of spirituality. So what I want to share with you today is some of the essences of spirituality around recognizing that there must be something beyond this physical form. There must be an energy or a source that is greater than us. And we are more than just this physical being. We come from somewhere before we are born. But having that knowledge also helps me understand that I am not just this body, I'm not just this mind. And as a result, it teaches me to challenge some of my belief systems to be a better person and also 
to explore different perspectives. So join me in this video, grab a cup of tea and let's learn together. Now, before exploring the concepts of spirituality, I will say that I used to have a lot of thoughts around fear, insecurities, poor self-esteem and self-confidence. But at the time, I didn't realize that spirituality had anything to do with that. I always thought that I'm a result of my environment, the opinions of other people, my relationships, and if they think that I'm not enough, then therefore I mustn't be enough. If I'm told at school that I didn't perform as well, or if my friends didn't feel that I had matched their expectations, then it was a reflection of my self-worth. And over time, because the mind tends to think on the negative things, it just appeared to amplify those negative thoughts. And as a result, I started to question everything about me, my self-worth, my purpose, whether I'm really worth the time and the energy. And the more you go into that negative spiral, the more it starts to impact not only, let's say, studies, work, also your relationships. It impacts every part of you, but mostly your internal relationship with yourself. Over time, being exposed to a difference of opinion, I started to learn that what I believe may not necessarily be true. The thoughts that have been put into my head may not be entirely accurate. And there is nothing wrong with questioning and challenging these opinions. Because if they don't serve me, why do I have to hold on to it? So rather than continue to rant on, what I'd like to do is share some practical tips that I'd love for you mums out there that are also maybe having a moment where it's quite challenging or there's a lack of clarity on what's going on in your life. I'd like to share some practical tips that you could take away today. Put them, them, put them into practice and share in the comments below what your experience is and if there's anything that you'd like to learn more about. So let's dive into some of the practical tips right now. The first one is on mindful presence. So start by bringing mindful presence into your everyday activities. Whether it's cooking a meal, reading a book, or even just going for a walk, start paying attention more to the present moment and really appreciating this moment in time. Because knowing that it only happens once and it will never be exactly the same the next time, really puts your head in the focus of being grateful for what's happening right now. Engage all your focus, all your attention and all your senses in to what is happening in that moment in time will really create a sense of appreciation and gratitude for that particular experience. Number two is heart-centered communication. The next time you're having a conversation with somebody Rather than planning how you're going to respond, I encourage you to stay really quiet in the mind and really listen to what that other person is saying. So it's not about preparing your response and coming in with judgment and your own opinion on it, but really just listen to what the other person is saying and accepting what they're actually saying. It doesn't mean that you necessarily agree with it or not, but just really giving them the space to express what's really going on for them. What's interesting is that when you stay silent, people can't help but fill in the silence. And the more silent you are, the more space you create for people to really express what's on their mind. Number three is establishing daily rituals and reflection. So it's not so much about the activity, but it's what the activity represents. It could be a five minute meditation. It could be having a cup of coffee. It could be going for a quick walk in the morning. Whatever it is, do it consistently and be present and really just take the time to experience that moment. The Vortex is about recognizing the gratitude and the positivity of what comes out of the things that we experience. 
But if your mind is constantly wondering and thinking about other things, whether it's worrying about the future or regretting the things that happened in the past, you're missing out on what's happening in the moment. So with your daily rituals, use that time, have it as a routine, which you can use to reflect on what's really occurring and really embracing the experience to experience the positivity in that moment. I want to spend just a bit of time talking about, well, why go through all of this? Why take the time to go through these practices? As a busy mom, there's a lot going on. There's more than enough to do. Do you really need to establish all of these activities as well and add more to your plate? That's a really good question. Let me share some of the positive experiences that I got out of the book. And again, maybe this is something that you would find useful too. But if you find that you are feeling stressed, if you are finding that you're feeling overwhelmed, these little practices don't take up much time. They don't take long to create a habit out of but they can really make a significant difference to your life. And that is what I experienced. The first one is enhanced connection. So by embracing spirituality into your daily life, you'll find that you make a deeper connection. When we talked about heartfelt connection and communication with others, when you really take the time to listen to people, you create a space for other people to express what's going on in their lives. But over time, when people really know that you're interested in what they have to say, you develop a deeper connection with them too. Not only do you develop a deeper connection with them, you also develop a deeper connection to yourself because you don't feel as though you need to have judgment. You don't feel the need to try and solve anything. You don't feel like you have to be the one to save the day. Just by creating the space for others to express their, their feelings also allows you to really enjoy the moment and really enjoy the conversation too. Number two, another benefit is personal growth. As we incorporate spirituality into our life, we spend more time questioning, challenging, but also reflecting on things. And by doing that, you also recognize the things that you don't agree with and the the things that you do want more in your life. And as a result, when you recognize what works and what doesn't, you spend more time looking for the answers on things that you want or to solve the problems that you have. And that in itself is an opportunity for personal growth. Before I found I was always angry, I was always frustrated, my mind would also be negative all the time and I found it really challenging to express how I felt because I didn't feel valid in my feelings or somebody was going to squash my opinion. I would overthink things, but as a result, it also stopped me from achieving what I really wanted in life too. But having a different perspective, bringing sp spirituality in where I spent more time embracing the moment and also reflecting and challenging things, I was in a better space to look for the things that I wanted and to move away from the things that I didn't want. And number three, inner peace and fulfillment. So when spirituality becomes a part of your everyday life, I found that I'm just karma. Things don't irritate me the way that they used to. I find that my mind is a lot clearer, that I make better decisions, and I am also okay in making mistakes and being open to being corrected because I do want to grow and I do want to have a better experience. What happens with spirituality is that by aligning with my higher self, I create a solid foundation for exploring what I really want in life, what really brings me joy, and also being okay with making mistakes and learning along the way. So remember, spirituality, it's not confined to sacred spaces. It's not about religion. It's about a, a way of being, embracing the beauty of what is around us and what we have access to 
but also recognising the power within you to change in an instant moment. Thank you for taking the time to join me in today. I hope you found this useful. Mums, you guys are amazing. If at any time you question whether you're doing the right thing, just be kind to yourself. It's not about being perfect. It is about progressing and being a better version of yourself every day.